H-E-B Grocery Company is an American privately held supermarket chain that opened in 1905. Thank you for your suggestion. Let variety and quality be your guide. Shop H-E-B, we're on your side. H-E-B, generic products galore. H-E-B, our private labels save you more. H-E-B, our weekly specials are fine. H-E-B, look for our discounts so you can save all of the time. Let variety and quality be your guide. Shop H-E-B, the store that's on your side. H-E-B started out as a single store in Kerrville, a small town in the Texas Hill Country. Charles and Florence Butt moved to Kerrville from Memphis, Tennessee. Charles was suffering from tuberculosis and they hoped that the drier climate would improve his condition. Once the family was settled in Kerrville, Florence was faced with supporting the family herself. She decided to open a grocery store and the family purchased a two-story house, planning to live upstairs and operate the store downstairs. With an investment capital of $60, the family opened the C.C. Butt Grocery Store on November 26, 1905. They began selling food in bulk as a charge and delivery operation. Florence's young sons delivered the food via baby carriage until they could afford to buy a little red wagon. By 1908, the Butt store had established itself within the local community as dealers in staples, fancy groceries, and fresh meats. The boys had even been able to buy a horse and wagon to make deliveries. Florence was building a profitable fresh-baked bread business as a sideline. She arranged for bread to be delivered by train from San Antonio and then immediately delivered to the residents by her sons. The market for fresh bread was relatively new at the time because many women were hesitant to buy bread for fear of being considered too lazy to bake on their own. Nevertheless, bread deliveries increased. All three of the Butt brothers, Charles, Eugene, and Howard E., worked in the family business while they were growing up. However, it was Howard who took an early liking to the business. It was even described in the company annals as the grocery man from the beginning. After serving in World War I, Howard returned to Kerrville to take over the store. He had a lot of ideas and was eager to implement them. His first move was to relocate the store to a busier corner in the downtown area. In the new location, but installed the first in-store meat market and delicatessen. He also began a policy of constantly offering new and different items to patrons. But also tried a risky new experiment. Traditionally, customers had delivered or phoned in their orders and the grocers had gathered and delivered the groceries along with the bill due at the end of the month. By the early 1920s though, a growing number of people had their own cars and were able to more easily transport their own groceries. But believed that those customers, and maybe many others, would be willing to wait on themselves, pay cash, and transport their own groceries if they could save money. The savings would come from reduced labor and equipment costs at the store and the elimination of unpaid grocery bills. On New Year's Day, 1922, the store opened under the new name of C.C. Butt Cash and Carry. Howard tried four expansions into Central Texas, including one in Junction, all of which failed. In 1926, Butt discovered a new avenue to growth. Piggly Wiggly, a grocery store chain that had become well known in the region by utilizing many of the same tactics that Butt was using, began selling franchises. Butt purchased some of the franchise rights, reasoning that he could successfully combine his views about customer service as well as his experience with cash and carry with the recognized Piggly Wiggly name. Butt opened his first Piggly Wiggly in Del Rio in 1926, and the success of that venture led him to open two more stores in 1927 in Brady and Gonzales. Purchasing three additional Piggly Wigglies in 1928, and building two more outlets in San Benito and Harlingen. 
but continued to grow during the late 1920s and early 1930s, opening stores throughout the Rio Grande Valley and remodeling existing stores. By 1931, Butt Grocery was operating a total of 24 stores and plans were made for new outlets. In 1935, Butt changed the name of his company to H.E. Butt Grocery Company. H.E. Butt began to integrate vertically when it opened its own bakery and purchased a canning company in 1936. By that year, Butt was generating about $2 million worth of business annually from 31 stores. Butt Grocery contributed to the World War II effort during the 1940s by supplying canned vegetables and fruits from its canning facility to troops overseas. At the same time, the company continued to progress. It opened the first air-conditioned grocery store and also began offering frozen foods, which was considered a novelty at the time. Butt opened one of the first truly large grocery stores in Texas in 1949. The Corpus Christi store had 22,500 square feet of space and was the first to have a separate drug department, cosmetic area, and a lunch counter. The large grocery store was a hit, and H.E. Butt focused on the concept from that point forward. In 1950, the company in Waco, the company's 53rd outlet, featured an unheard of 12 check stands, two parking lots, and a self-service meat counter. Within two years, they had 58 stores. To increase sales at existing stores, it began operating the Texas Gold Stamp Company as a subsidiary in 1955. The promotion gave customers stamps for each purchase, which they could then exchange for household items. By the end of the 1960s, HEB, as it had become known, was ready for a change. The dynamic and innovative Howard Butt officially passed the torch to his sons, Howard E. Jr., and the younger Charles, who would go on to be the president of the company. Under his leadership, they opened their own ice cream plant, new bread bakery, a large pastry bakery, and new offices and warehouses. He also ended the long-standing policy of barring the sale of alcohol and closing on Sundays in 1976. Good year. The HEB milk plant in San Antonio is the largest milk plant in the state of Texas, as well as their bread bakery. By the mid-1980s, HEB was operating nearly 150 stores throughout central and southern Texas, serving over a million families. By the mid-1990s, the company had over 230 stores and sales surpassed over $5 billion. The company began to expand beyond Texas, opening up a store in Louisiana, as well as in Mexico. Today, HEB is the largest privately held company and largest private employer in the state of Texas with over 420 locations and over 100,000 employees. HEB also operates Central Markets, HEB Plus, Mi Tienda, True Texas Barbecue, and Joe V's Smart Shop. The company has sales of over $38 billion. So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.